Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This week we're going to be going over marbling with underglaze. So if you aren't familiar with the process, what you will need for this is a bottle of shaving cream. I just got this from the dollar store. It doesn't have to be anything fancy or a specific brand, any will work. You're gonna want some color of underglaze. You can use up to, you know, 10 colors if you really wanted to. I'm gonna have three today. So I have a light pink, a rose color and this avocado green. So however many colors you wanna use for this, that's totally fine. And lastly, you will need a pot to decorate with. Mine is in the greenware state. However, you can use greenware or bisqueware. I will go over the pros and cons of using each of those in this video, so. And lastly, you're gonna want someplace to put it. So do make sure that whatever you are using, you do have a clean top just so that way nothing kind of gets stuck to your pot in this process. I'm gonna be using an Ikea tray just because it likes to, you know, it keeps all the mess into the tray. Some people like to use newsprint, so that way when you spread out your shaving cream, you can just toss it afterwards and it's just a quick, easy cleanup. So let's dive right into it. All right, so we're gonna take our shaving cream and just spray our surface with an even coat of this. Okay, and you just want enough that this is gonna have some sort of like even coat. So I'm just gonna take my hand here and really get this to be nice and flat so that way we don't have any like spots that are higher than the others, just cause it will make the transfer a lot smoother. Okay, so now that I have everything all just kind of smoothed out to a nice flat surface, we're gonna take our colors and we're just going to layer them on there. So we'll start with the light pink. and just kind of dribble it. And the way that you put this on there really doesn't matter, um, but do try to, you know, make sure that you don't layer too many colors at once that they end up muddling. So that's the light pink. Now I'll layer some rose on there. All right. And we'll go with the avocado. Okay. Now I can either leave it totally like this, or if you wanna take like some sort of, I'm using like a kitchen skewer, you can also use like a popsicle stick or really just your finger or a pencil. And if you just wanna use this to kind of move some of this around, get it into a design that you really like because this is going to transfer directly as it looks here. So I'm just gonna mess with it a little bit. All right, and I think that's good. So now we're gonna pick our favorite part of this entire thing and we are going to grab our pot and get that in there. So again, I have a greenware pot and I'm just going to start over here and I'm gonna have my hands on the inside here just to kind of help move this around. So I'm just gonna drop it in and I'm just gonna slowly move my pot across all of this. Now you do want to make sure that you aren't just like letting it all smush around in the same part of the shaving cream because as you can see over here, it does get a bit, you know, kind of muddled as we move. So you wanna make sure that when you are moving your pot over that you are actually moving it over and not just swirling it in the same spot. So this is what we got right now. And if you don't like how something looks like that seems a bit barren here, I can just go ahead and like dip that back in somewhere, you know, maybe new. And we'll give it a little, little more. So. Now we are gonna go ahead and wash this off. So we'll take you over to the sink. Okay, so we have our pot now at the sink. Now we wanna be careful that we don't end up putting too much water on this because remember it is in the green more stage and clay doesn't like to rehydrate, it likes to disintegrate. So I'm gonna be really fast about this. Just get a nice 
little bit of water and because we are being cautious of that also do make sure that you are using cold water and not hot it'll be less likely to absorb the water so quickly and if you have something with a little more pressure like this it'll probably be easier so So all of our shaving cream is for the most part off. All right, so we have our marbled pot and this literally will fire just like this and you'll have a really awesome, you know, array of colors or color depending on, you know, how you ended up using your underglazes. But there are a few things I want to note during this process that might just be helpful pointers if this is your first time trying this. You will notice that there is still a little bit of shaving cream still on this you when i was washing that off i didn't use my hand to wipe or to scrub mainly because this would end up really messing with our color design on here the uh pros of working on a greenware pot is when this goes into the kiln for the first time the leftover shaving cream is just going to fire off but the cons of it is you do risk cracking it or you know ending up disintegrating or you know messing up your pot when you end up running it under water if it's still in the greenware stage. Now, if you do this in the bisqueware stage, um, you don't have to worry about your pot cracking or anything like that because, you know, it's already gone through the first firing, which is the one that it's most likely to crack in structurally. But because there is still a little bit of shaving cream on here, it's going to be kind of hard for your glaze to end up fully adhering over all of those spots if you don't get all of it off. And so for me, I always prefer to do it in the greenware stage just because I have never quite been able to get all the shaving cream off and get all of my clear glaze to really settle onto the spots where that got a bit thick. And also, if you do end up messing up that glaze job on top of it, and if you did do this in the bisqueware stage, then, you know, if you wipe up the clear glaze, you're also going to wipe up every part of the underglaze too because it hasn't solidified yet because it hasn't been fired. So that is just a quick tutorial on how to marble, but I do hope that this was helpful for you. And you know, if you liked my video, found it helpful at all, go ahead and hit like, subscribe, and I will see you all next week. Thanks for watching.